almost uh, 30 years ago now, a famous English actor named Alec McCowan memorized the entire Gospel of Mark in the King James Version and took it to Broadway. Uh, I don't think he was religious. Uh, it started off as a memory exercise, but the thing ran on Broadway for a year and a half, people paying 20 bucks a seat to hear the Bible during the week. I was working at a repertory theater in the Midwest, and the artistic director heard about this one-man show on Broadway and thought, cheap show. All he had to do was hire one actor, and sets are pretty simple. The copyright on this stuff ran out years ago. So he handed me Luke's Gospel and said, you open in three and a half weeks. Start working. Uh, it was terrifying, but we got it on its feet. A lot of people have done it since then. Uh, Alec McCowan revived it off-Broadway about 10 years ago. A guy named Max McLean is touring North America with the Gospel of Mark. But for as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things, which are more surely believed among us, even as they delivered them to us, which were from the beginning eyewitnesses and ministers of the Word, seemed good to me also, having had a perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto thee, most excellent Theophilus, that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein ye have been instructed. Now, there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron, her name was Elizabeth, and they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. But they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they were both now well stricken in years. And it came to pass, as he executed the office of the priesthood in the order of his course, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people prayed without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear came upon him. But the angel said, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John, and he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God, and he shall go before him in the power and spirit of Elijah to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said to the angel, ah, Whereby shall I know these things? I'm an old man, and my wife is well stricken in years. And the angel said, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to show you these things, and bring you these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day these things be performed. For thou believest not my words, which shall come to pass in their season. Now the whole multitude waited for Zacharias, and they marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. Oh, and, and when he came out, he could not speak to them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision, for he beckoned to them, but remained speechless. And it came to pass, when the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house, and in the days that followed, his wife Elizabeth conceived. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin, a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in upon her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. 
and the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father, David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary, How shall this be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel said, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing that shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Then said Mary, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her, and Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord. My spirit hath rejoiced in God, my Savior. For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. 